the migration of people across national boundaries always seems to have been a controversial topic. But the distances and extent that migrants seem to be going to travel, even crossing continents to get to their destinations, seems becoming much greater than before. Now, different countries have widely varying policies regarding immigration, but one of the key issues normally revolves around the economic impact of immigration. The two major issues that are often mentioned do, do immigrants drive down the wages of other people in the economy with what's labelled as a race to the bottom? And why is that an apparently large percentage of the immigrants who arrive in their adoptive countries with little more than a shirt on their backs a few years later are running highly successful businesses? Now one of the things that's often assumed is that people from the destination country are on a whole less prepared to work hard as the people from the country which is the source of the immigrants. But what is overlooked is that immigrants are not an average cross-section of their home community. If you think about it, a very small percentage of people would be prepared to travel thousands of miles in quite difficult circumstances, sometimes actually risking life and limb to get to their new country. Or to get into that new country with a totally alien culture where you might not know anyone else there, where your skills and education might not be recognised, and maybe even having to learn a new language kind of motivated, highly enthusiastic, risk-taking people who undertake such a journey are not your average selection of a country. Instead, they're the kind of people who are going to continue to be motivated to do something with their lives when they arrive at their new country. It's highly unlikely that these people are going to want to sit at home all day and collect benefits from the state, or the similar th kinds of things that they're often accused of doing. Instead, these people will tend to take any job that's offered to them work longer hours just to get a new start in life. This certainly will have an impact on any area that has a large amount of these immigrants entering into the workforce as they will tend to outcompete the locals and are prepared to work for less wages than the general population. However, this effect is not likely to be permanent as these new immigrants are unlikely to be satisfied with working long hours for low pay for long. The drive that got them this far will continue to push them forward. They'll generally want to quickly get themselves into better circumstances. This normally involves using the savings they make from their job to establish some kind of small business, be it a taxi firm, a shop, a beauty salon, or maybe some higher skilled profession that the skills and education they learned in their home country have equipped them for. Alternatively, they'll go to evening classes or find other ways of acquiring the skills and expertise needed to set up their new desired business. Eventually, these small businesses are likely to be the source of economic growth for the adopted community. There are, however, two slight caveats to this view of immigration. The first is that whilst the initial immigrant may be highly motivated, this may not be the case with other family members, either the next generation who are raised in their adoptive country, or those who are able to hop on an aircraft to join their family members with a ticket paid for by the original immigrant. The other factor is that it's not just the legitimate business sector that the immigrant may be coming to engage in. A highly motivated criminal immigrant is just likely to make a success of a criminal enterprise as a more legitimate immigrant worker and for similar reasons. They may outcompete local criminals if they're prepared to work harder and take more risks to achieve success. However, with the correct management in place, and recognising the potential and energy and drive that the immigrants can make to a society, immigrants should be seen more as an opportunity than as a threat.